This is the theme song I wrote for this show. It is the best theme song that I know. Hey kids, welcome to Storytime with Mr. Matt. I will be your storyteller, Mr. Matt. Say, it's Christmas time. Are you excited? We get to celebrate Jesus' birth again this Christmas time. One of my favorite things about Christmas is Christmas trees. When I was a kid, my parents always bought real Christmas trees at a Christmas tree farm where they specifically grew the trees and cut them down just for Christmas trees. I got to decorate the tree once my dad got it into the house and got all the lights on and that was just such a special time. Now that I have a family of my own and kids of my own, uh, we don't have real Christmas trees. I've got an artificial Christmas tree at my house and the special thing about it is I don't have to put lights on it. It's got lights on it already. All I have to do is unfold it and plug it in. Then my kids put on all the fancy ornaments. They love to do that just like I used to do when I was a kid. Unfortunately, we've got a couple of Christmas trees at my house and there just aren't enough ornaments to go around. So this year we've been busy making some handmade ornaments for our Christmas trees. One of the reasons why I like Christmas trees so much is because what's underneath them? Presents. Presents are always exciting, especially this time of year when they're under the tree and we're anticipating the day where we can open them up and see what's inside. An interesting thing about Christmas trees is that they seem to be pointing up into the sky. Somewhere up in the sky, beyond the clouds, is the best Christmas gift ever given. Jesus is that best Christmas gift ever. And when he had done everything he was doing here on earth to win our salvation, he ascended up into heaven and is preparing a place for us there. Have you ever heard the story of Jesus' ascension into heaven? Well, you can find the story right at the beginning of the book of Acts in the Bible. Jesus had just spent 40 days showing people that he was alive and teaching his disciples. Right before he ascended into heaven, his disciples asked him this question. Lord, at this time are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Jesus said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he had said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men, dressed in white, stood before them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking up into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Those angels had a great message to share with the disciples. Jesus will be coming back someday. We're still looking forward to that day. It's a day we call Judgment Day. At this second coming of Jesus, all believers will be taken to be with God in heaven forever. Say, do you remember the good news that the angels got to share that 
first coming of Jesus on Christmas? Mary and Joseph had traveled to Bethlehem to be counted in a census. The town of Bethlehem was so full of people that they couldn't even stay at a hotel. They were all booked up. Jesus had to be born in a barn. And when Jesus was born, Mary wrapped him up in cloths and laid him down in a box that, uh, that animals eat out of. We call it a manger. There were shepherds watching their sheep that night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. The angels had an important message that night in Bethlehem. Jesus had been born. This Christmas, we have an important message to share too. There are people who do not know why we celebrate Christmas. They might think that Christmas is only about shopping, decorating, reindeers, ho, ho, ho. Christmas is a celebration of Jesus coming to earth as a baby so that he could grow up to be our Savior. We need to tell people about this. Some people just need a reminder. Other people have never heard about their Savior Jesus. They need to hear it for the first time. Don't be afraid to be like the angels this Christmas time. Do not keep this message of Jesus being born to yourself. Share it like it's the best news ever. Because it is the best news ever. Today I thought, hmm, I would mix it up just a little bit since it's Christmas time. Instead of uh, showing you how to draw an animal or maybe how to draw an angel, I thought I would take you on a quick little field trip, a little fun trip, and then after that, I would take you to my house and we would bake some angel cookies. Does that sound pretty good? All right. You're, are you ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Have you ever wondered about that door in the ceiling just outside of church? Let's see if we can figure out what that is. All right. I went and I found the ladder. Couldn't quite get up there without it. Here it is. All right. It looks like I just have to pull this little cord here. See what happens. Oh. Looky here. Oh. Looks like we got a little stairway in here. Let's see if we can unfold this thing. Well, looks like we got a new stairway here. Let's see where it goes. Well, looks like I made it up in the church attic. Not a whole lot going on except for a bunch of boxes, some heating and cooling equipment, and here's kind of the interesting thing. 
Have you ever been to the other side of the window? There it is. Pretty cool. Whenever I see a staircase like this, it kind of reminds me of angels again. Uh, remember the story of Jacob's ladder? When the angels were ascending and descending on that ladder up to heaven? Anyway, just thought I'd show you the stairway into the church's attic. All right, now it's time to go bake some cookies. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I decided today, instead of going and uh, starting from scratch with a cookie recipe, that I would uh, just start with a mix that I got from the store. But you could easily find a sugar cookie recipe uh, instead of finding the mix at the store. So as you can see here, I got my bowl, I got my mix, I got my butter and an egg. Okay, first I'm gonna take the mix and pour it into the bowl. Next, I'm going to throw in a stick of butter. Here we go. The next step is to crack in one egg. Now because I am going to be doing cookie cutouts, it says I'm supposed to add four tablespoons of flour. So I'll do that now. One, two, Three, four. Now it's time to mix it all up. Now I guess it helps to read the directions a little bit more carefully at the beginning. I guess I was supposed to use melted butter. So I'm gonna melt the butter in the microwave. All right, in you go. Now I'll do some mixing. Now, it's time to roll these cookies out. All right, got it pretty flat. I'm sure you can do a far better job of rolling than I did. Now it's time to test out these brand new angel cutouts that Mrs. Vischer was able to find for me. Got a couple of them out of that batch. Now I'm going to take those pieces and put them on the cookie sheet. Alright, let's put this last one on here. Alright, they are ready to go in the oven. See what they're looking like. Ooh. Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna have to wait till they cool down and we can decorate them. All right, time for the last part. We're gonna get one of these 
And we are going to decorate it. So with a little frosting first and then some toppings. Now that the cookies are done, why don't we fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you so much for the opportunity that we had today to hear about angels and to hear how they brought the good news that Jesus was born and they were even able to tell the good news to the disciples that you would come back someday to come get us and take us to be with you in heaven. We thank you so much for the message that they had in the Bible, and we ask you to help us this Christmas to be like the angels and to tell other people about Jesus. Amen. All right, kids. That's all the time I have for story time with Mr. Matt this week. God's blessings to you. I will see you next time. Bye. Good boy. <laughs> Miss you. This is the theme song I wrote for this show. It is the best theme song that I know.